Richie, Elijah, congratulations. You guys have made it to the final round of this competition. Now we're sending you back to recreate this weapon. General Yamashita's Gunto. You'll have four days at your home forges before delivering your weapon to our panel of expert judges. Only after they thoroughly tested them will they declare one of you the Forged and Fire champion who leaves here with a check for 10 grand. Good luck, Bladesmiths. We'll see you in four days. Thank you. Good luck. Doing this challenge at my home forge, it'll be good because I'm, I'm in my own space. I will be missing some of the tools at the judges' forge for sure. This Gunto is a little bit more of a challenge. My equipment is not conducive to working with longer blades. This is how you get a full heat on a little forge with a long blade. You do this a lot. I have not made a katana or a gunto before. I think the biggest thing I'm struggling with is just getting the right curvature in the blade, but that's part of making a particular blade for the first time. It's quite a process. It's day one. I'm back here in my home forge. I'm going to make a Yamashuto Gunto. Gunto. <laughs> a Japanese sword. <laughs> Hopefully by the end of today, I've got my forging done. What I'm gonna try to do is keep a thick spine right in here, get a taper from here to here. I gotta get that right curve on that thing. Gotta, I need it to do that. Today I need to do some grinding and get heat treat finished. Steel settled into a rather unstraight manner. I have to reheat this back up and then requench it. When you heat steel up that hot, you're uh, enlarging the grain structure. Worst case scenario, you're going to ruin the steel. Woo! Never had that happen before. I think I hit the bottom. It's better than the last time. After the second quench, I was finally able to get it straight-ish. Stay. Just stay. Don't do anything. My goal for today is to fill me a quench tank and then go into my heat treating process. My plan for making a quench tank, uh, I've got an old fiberglass tank that is uh, for cleaning guns. That'll work. Uh, got a pretty good flare up but I've got to get this blade hard and get it in the clamp. We'll worry about shot burning down later. I've got to get this fire out. Oh, Lord. Maybe time to get the fire thing. Man, thank you, Lord. We, we could have had a disaster. A word to the wise is sufficient. Use metal. Use something that won't catch fire. And fiberglass will catch fire. I'm going to take the blade out of the clamps, and she's straight as air. Woo, I'm proud of that. We get the smoke out of the shop. We'll proceed with plant. It is day three, and today I'm working on the habaki and the guard. Basically, the way you make a habaki is your blade goes here, and the sides basically fold up. And you put it together, solder it together. Yay, habaki! Tomorrow, I have to shape the handle, and then I have to wrap the handle. It's lots of fit and finish. It's the last day. Hooray. <laughs> I've got this wrap started, and surprisingly, it's going pretty good. Tell you what, Forged and Fire teach you some stuff. So far, I've been a blacksmith, a bladesmith, a seamstress, and a firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> this took a lot more grit than I ever imagined. I knew it would be tough, but I didn't know it was going to be this tough. And I can't wait to see Doug cut a billy goat in two or something. <laughs> All right, bladesmiths, to find out how deadly your weapons are, I will take your weapon and deliver some killing slashes and thrust on this big carcass. Richie, you're first. You ready for this? <laughs> I hope so.
All right, Rich, let's talk about your Gunto here. Your blade's balance is a very light blade. Well, as you can see, it really tapers down here. It's very thin right here. So there's a little bit of a kick on your blade where it's slightly bent. Now your edge, it is very sharp. Your tip is pointed enough to penetrate, but more importantly, it will kill. <laughs> All right. All right, Elijah, your turn, sir. You ready? I am. All right, Elijah, every slash cut very deep into this big carcass. The thrusts were easy enough to go through. It's a sharp edge, and it will kill. Thank you. Bladesmiths, welcome to the strength test. Test the strength and overall construction of your guntas. I'm going to take each of them and deliver slices through this heavy, dense bamboo. All right, Richie, up first. You ready? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right, nice job, Richie. Thank you. Your edge held it very nicely. It's balanced well, but we do have a little concern. Your wrap is coming undone on us. That's a bit of an issue. But overall, nicely done. How you doing, Elijah? Good. Ready to do this? I am. So am I. Let's do it. Yeah. Nice job, Elijah. Your edge is still sharp all the way down the blade. You do have a slight, slight bend right there in the blade, but I mean, it's, it's very minor. Everything's tight, very nicely done. Thank you. All right, bladesmiths. General Yamashita's goal is somewhere in the Philippines, and if it's there, I want a shot at it. So to test the sharpness of your weapon, I will take your gunto and cut through these burlap bags. Richie, you're up first. You ready? Ready. <laughs> Good job. All right, Richie, we found gold. <laughs> your blade, it's sharp. With every slash, it cut through the bags. The only thing is, the more I use it, the more it's coming unraveled. But overall, sir, your blade will cut. All right, Liza, you're next. You ready? I am. Well, Elijah, your edges cut all the way through, and we struck gold. A very fine, strong edge, a very fine, sharp edge. For this test, sir, it will cut. Thank you. Richie, Elijah, if only one of you can be the Forged and Fire champion, and that champion is... Elijah, congratulations. You're the new Forged and Fire champion. Richie, unfortunately, your Gunto didn't make the cut. Please surrender your gun to. Going through all this, it was tough. And uh, it takes more grit than you think. But I, I have no regrets. Uh, I've met some good friends and some very good bladesmiths. I have no trouble coming in second place to any of them. I feel good. I've enjoyed it. Elijah, you are the new Forest and Fire champion, and that's a title that comes with a check for $10,000. Please present your blade to the judges. Still sinking in that I won Forge and Fire. My wife pushed me into doing this competition, so I really appreciate her support, and I'm really happy I could win, so it's pretty awesome. 